Do it, do it, do it. Just can't put push up, bro. Z and top shot. You know what one of my pet peeves is when I play viewer games? When I die and one of my viewers goes, oh! I don't know why. Because they expect me to get kills if someone kills me, they're like, oh! Oh! Ah! I don't know why it bothers me. Sometimes it's funny because you actually get destroyed. So, like, everyone does that. They go, whew! Let's go. Let's go. Should we go back outside? Yellow, go outside. Let's bait yellow. He's outside, we'll go in her. I want to see. Top cap, they lose it. Z, 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 Z. Down for mac and cheese. Yeah, hit one, one, one side, one bomb. Oh, bomb. Can someone flash her mid? Yellow, ugly. Yeah, I got it. Flash. Good one. Dead one. That yeah, one's. Not a bomb, maybe. What is that? Is that Molly? Mm -hmm, it's it silent. Molly was silent. What the fuck? It could be CT. Can you spawn? The interp ratio is one or two. Interp rate one. Ugly I in real know. life. Let's rush. Someone flash over mid when I call. Three, two, one, flash. Top green, top green. Bomb oh, chain, damn. He's got to fail that rush. Box back green. Get out there wide, baby. JK. E box hopping. I'm gonna flash into Z. Come on. For Z, can you flash off the wall on Z? Who's Z? Fraz, can you flash Z? One's in Z, holy shit. <laughs> Why'd it take him so long? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's two. That was the second guy. I saw him boosting, so I was asking for a flash. I don't think he knew I was talking to him. What's the reason to play a stretch other than increase mouse yaw speed? Uh, just, just look and feel. What's the reason to play any res that's not 1920? You must like the look and feel. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. 
No, that, no, that was honestly not even. That was honestly not. I'm going to Ivy. This spawn right here, chat, this is what we call the best spawn on T side. Anyone who has this spawn, you can beat the CT down ladder fast or out mid fast. I'll go down ladder this time for sure, you guys. He could enter ladder room at the same time if he has the best spawn, uh, about a split second after you. So that's why you don't want to waste time going down the ladder slow. You want to drop as fast as you can. No, One's pushing in her. Ivy. Ivy. See what I mean about the ladder though? Like he could get there. So a lot of good players, what they'll do is they'll come here and they'll Molotov, they'll pre-Molotov ladder, or they'll throw a flash like this on the run. That'll bank in there. You have to throw it on the right side. Upper, upper, I think. See, he's offing upper. No, never mind. Could be back hall CT, maybe upper if you timing to me. All right, guys, I'm going to go Ivy right now, fast. So when you rush Ivy, the first two things you're going to worry about are a pop flash and then an anti-bait slash bait setup. So I'm going to run up to the box and listen. You'll hear him running down if he's pushing, and the flash you can't really dodge that good. So I'll, actually, I'll try to dodge the flash, but I'm going to stop if I hear him rushing. Okay, so they can still flash for that. Some people do. A lot of times when people throw a smoke, they could have thrown it shallower and been right behind it. There's only two left outside. So even though I know where they're both at, I want to pressure this guy. So one site, one can still be close. You want to watch for him to try to get a kill. He know I'm Ivy, so he might be trying to get a kill. I know my team is hell, so I don't need to watch the backside. I'm going to molly this and then wait a second. Last guy should be backside. I could walk up behind the molly because he's not going to expect me to walk behind where I just peeked. He's probably old bomb. The other guy should be in or either coming ladder or Z. Could be spawn ramp. So if he's not Z in the next five seconds, I'm aware that he could be old bomb. I'm going to hold ladder because that's the that's the like ur urgent thing to hold. If he's not there, I could still get shot in the back. You got to be Z or spawn right there, right? He could have flanked teammate. But then we don't worry about that yet because it wouldn't have been the timing, right? I want that gap. I want a little one. Um, ladder. Down lower. Upper one, can you watch up Good flash open. Do it. Two, no, I fell. I fell. Let's go above the ladder. Which I coaching today? Probably not. Unless I own the team or have like some kind of equity stake in it or something like that. Or just like an insane salary. So what you did a credit just playing a ton, no and people tend to do. Yeah. You have to be a little one watch ladder, I think we're down ladder as well. Maybe not. Team Ed, one more Team Ed, back blue. You have to be kind of introspective, a little bit reflective, right, when you play. In my course, I talk about reflect and review. When you make mistakes, when you do things well, sometimes especially when you do things well, you got to reflect and review as you play. That's why I re 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 When people ask me how long it takes to get pro or where they should be at with how many hours or how can they break out of this level, I've known kids like Stewie's, um, Cooper, Freakazoid's brother, and others who have played the game a little bit when they were younger, but they legitimately, within like a year and a half or two years of effort, were at like a semi-pro level. Most people, aside from a select few like Swag and um, Rops and others, they don't really you don't really consider them at a pro level unless they have a really special mind for communication in the game and reading the game. Like, the reason those guys are that far is because they are so introspective and they pick up so many details when they play that I can't say you would be at the same level at the same amount of time. One's Olaf, Olaf. Nice. 
Team DZ or what? Is there a whiffing on me? <sighs> My nose is itching. Blue chain and ivy. Oh, it's in space better. When you say reflect in your course, I always wonder, do you mean after the moment happens or you watch the moment through a devil and reflect through that perspective? Everything. I just mean the type of person you are. I mean, when you're eating a sandwich at lunch and you think about the way that you used radar in this FPL game versus what you thought the fucking guy was going to do in this moment on the time he peed. Like, just a lot of good players, they just can't help but try to solve situations in their head when they're chilling. I just a tendency I've noticed. Smoke. Really? Did it go far enough? One more extra step. Did you ever use Nova? Yeah, like nuke, close hut, lower ramp on train and B. You know, like play right here at the Nova, push up here at the Nova. Do you think you'll game something else other than CS on a professional level next time for years? Probably not. I mean, unless it's golf. See why I'm leaning guys right here? If that guy dies, I'm gonna be ready to rotate. Always watching your radar, right? One could be down ladder. I got the swing. Have you ever done these predictions on a land tournament? That is lit, bro. No, I'm playing the game on a land tournament. I've done them for almost every time I play CS. <laughs> but I don't say them out loud. That's what most players are doing. You ask most pros, they might not, because I'm like, I could like freestyle and like practice like freestyle rap as a joke like that. But like, I think that kind of stuff makes it easier for me to talk while I'm playing. And like think about like say some thoughts out loud. Not every thoughts. When it gets really chaotic, I can't say all that. But I think so, a lot of ninety. I would say ninety nine percent of players at a pro level are doing what I'm doing. They're just <laughs> jump for Shoot. I don't think Nico lost his touch. I think he's just focused a lot on coaching. Shroud more of a natural aimer? Fuck yeah. Of course he is. Watch him play and play, you play is very different. It's almost as if he could be pro in other shooters if he wanted because of Ryan's skill. Yeah, I don't know if they're taking, you know, take, take offense to that. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, the difference between Mikey is like, I probably have... I would say in this FOV, I have maybe as close of aim as Mikey and like this much field of view. But Mikey's aim is this wide. He could control that level of aim this in this field of view, which is insane. I can control what's in front of me, like probably almost just as good. At a pro level, definitely just as good, like in terms of like when I'm playing a pro match, there's only a certain level of insane aim you need. A lot of it's how you position and play against the person and what you decide to do and then hit the shot accordingly.